Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a very exciting junk journal to share with you. So what I'm showing you here is a junk journal kit. This is the bumper size and I got this from Miss Paper Lover on Etsy. Um, and I've wanted one of these for absolutely ages. Um, I've seen them in her videos and they have always looked gorgeous so I thought I would treat myself to one. Her Etsy shop and her YouTube channel will be linked below. Um, so I'm just really quickly flipping through all of these things and there's so much um, in this box. I was so excited to open it all up and have a look. So there's lots of vintage papers, map papers, um, lots of book pages, some handmade paper, there are some tea stained paper, I've got some vellum um, and yes yeah, so this bit I'm just showing you all of the vintage papers and I just wanted to use them all on, in this video because they're gorgeous. Um, and then once I've flipped through all the papers you'll see I also get a paper bag that's on the right hand side there and there's lots of smaller pieces in there as well. Um, and I love the mix of papers, so some you can tell are really old, there's some um, different language books, um, there's just so much. And then here I'm showing you the um, smaller items, so a washi tape, I've got a vellum envelope with lots of stickers in, um, and there's a couple more envelopes with little bits in as well, so I'll just leave you to watch the rest of that unboxing. chosen the pages that I want to work on here and I've deliberately chosen ones where I'm not overly fond of the paper so that bird paper I wasn't really sure what I was going to use that for because um, it's not my favourite paper so I thought I would use some of the gorgeous book pages in my junk journal kit to collage over these two pages so I've got um, that gorgeous I think it's sort of a calligraphy book page on the right hand side um, so I've collaged that on and I'm just using some gel matte medium to do all of this um, and then there's a um, book page on the left hand side as well I'm not sure what language this is but I absolutely loved this this is really really old the paper feels amazing um, so I definitely wanted to use that and yeah I'm just picking different things I've gone for sort of a red theme I had a few different red pieces in this um, kit so I thought I would deliberately use those pieces and I also have a napkin here um, so I've stripped off the bottom layer and I'm just collaging that over the top as well again there's sort of red tones in this um, and as I said I've used gel matte gel matte medium to cover all of those and then I wanted to tie everything in a bit more so I've used a dot stencil and just a makeup sponge and some um, black acrylic paint this isn't very good quality it's not very opaque so I thought that would be good because it won't cover up everything underneath it but um, add some black to the page I've then watered some of that down and added some splatters as well and then I'm going to start adding my um, pieces for my journaling. So I'm journaling about my job. I work at my local pub and um, 
and just journaling um, about working there, what I like and just different things. Um, so I have this leaflet that's from my pub and that's the reason I went with black on the background because um, a lot of the pictures and things that I'm using are black. I then really wanted to use this vellum envelope, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so to add some black to it and to uh, make sure it's extra secure, I hand stitched around the whole thing with a black thread. And then I'm going to attach that into my journal using some black um, floral washi tape. So this is black and red as well, which goes with the colours I've chosen. And I've just reinforced my washi tape with some uh, glue stick just because it's never very sticky and I want to make sure it's not going to move at all. And then I'm going to create a journal card to go inside that envelope. So I'm using one of the book pages that have red flowers on them. And I'm just going to trim that down and turn that into a journal card. So I took a beer mat from my pub and I've stapled that onto the back side of this journal card. I've also um, rounded the edges to make it easier to slip in and, out, in and out of my envelope. And then I have two photos here, one of them I backed onto some more of that book paper and um, one I'm just going to stick on its own and again I've inked round um, the book paper one with um, black distress ink and I'm going to add some more of the washi that I used before um, and then I'll add a little uh, label on the bottom and that will be this journal card. This side of the journal card will be finished. So here I've got another picture from my pub that I've backed onto some more book paper and inked around the edges and then I've added that to the other side of my journal card along with another little label just explaining what it is. And then someone left a really nice review for the pub so I printed that out and I've cut that out and I'm adding that to the page to the journal card as well um, and again I'll use some more of that black washi tape to tie everything in together. I used one of the vellum stickers that were in my journal kit and that's my journal card all finished so I'll just pop that inside my envelope and get to work on the left hand side of my page. So in my journal kit were these vellum um, 
sort of like label pieces so I did my journaling on that with a black pen and I've just stapled that um, into the corner of my page and then I have a few more pictures these are from our pub website um, so I printed them off and I'm just gonna stick them all into the um, all onto the right hand side of my page um, and I'm inking around everything with black distress ink like I said I'll also ink around the entire pages as well and I'm decorating with some more of that black washi tape So all I'm doing now is using some of these stickers from my junk journal kit and using them to decorate the page. That skull sticker is absolutely gorgeous, I think that is one of um, Grace's hand drawn stickers. Um, I remember seeing these in one of her videos and I absolutely loved them so I'm so glad I've got one in this um, kit. And I'm just using a couple of other floral or black and white stickers to add as well and then that's my page all finished. So. Please do check out uh, Miss Paper Lover on Etsy and as I said I'll leave her YouTube below as well because she was one of my favourite YouTubers to watch so do check her out on there as well and I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you very much for being here, bye guys!